Hey guys, this is Nesto and welcome back to yet another video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a wonderful day. So today we're going to talk all about harsh lighting and how I use it. All right, so before we jump into it, we need to define what is harsh lighting. So harsh lighting is considered contrasty light, meaning you could potentially get blown out highlights, hard, sharp shadows on your subject, and other side effects that could potentially work really well or create a disaster of an image. Typically, as portrait photographers, we tend to not like harsh lighting on our subject's face. What we generally look for is soft, flattering light for our subject's face. That said, harsh light could potentially create very beautiful black and white images because of the contrast that you get between light and shadows. So the question is basically, how do you find harsh lighting? Now, I know that's a silly question. It's kind of like saying, how do you find light? Well, the simple answer is basically, you look for the shadows. Shadows are a wonderful indicator if the light is soft or hard. If there's very sharp edges to the shadow, then the light is considered harsh, also known as hard. On the other side of it, if the edges are very soft on the shadows, then the light is considered soft. And if that fails, you can always check the time because anywhere in the world, if it's 12 noon, between 12 noon to 2 p.m., you're pretty much shooting in harsh light. So that's another way that you could tell if you're in harsh light or not. So now what? Now that you found the harsh light, now how do you work with it? Well, it's pretty simple. You have a couple of options. Number one, you could avoid the harsh light completely and basically take your subject in the shade. Number two, you could basically put your subject between you and the sun. Basically, you're backlighting your subject and you could use a reflector or some type of artificial light to help fill in the shadows. Number three, you could basically use a diffuser or some kind of scrim to basically help diffuse the light, not making it so harsh anymore. It will just soften the light for you. So you could use that or simply you could just not avoid the harsh light altogether and simply embrace it. So the question is, how do you work with harsh light? Well, before I tell you this, I want to basically say that harsh light is not for every subject. Avoid using harsh light with older folks and avoid using harsh lights with folks that have challenging skin. Also avoid using harsh light with folks that have very sensitive eyes. And lastly, try to avoid, if possible, using harsh light at events or weddings. Now, this last part here is a little bit more challenging because you tend to not have control over, you know, your subjects when you're doing an event. But if you can, try to avoid it. So now that's out of the way, here's how I use harsh light. Instead of avoiding the harsh light, I embrace it. I put my subjects directly in the sunlight so there's no avoiding it. So here are some very simple tips I use to get great results using harsh light. Number one, I communicate very clearly to the subject where the main light is. Now, it's clearly obvious where the main light is because if they just simply turn their head, it will hit the sun and their eyes would definitely connect with it. But it's always good to communicate to your subject where that main light is coming from so that they make sure that they position their head at all times towards that main light. It's very critical that the subjects position their face towards the light because if they don't, what will end up happening is you will end up getting very unflattering shadows on the subject's face. Number two, so posing. Now, yes, I want, are you gonna say, what does posing have to do with using harsh light? Well, it has a lot to do with it. And I don't mean the body. I mean, basically posing the face. And if you don't pose the face properly 
and you don't pose it towards that light properly, what you will end up having is a very common problem that, you, that most folks get with using a harsh light, which is raccoon eyes, because the light is coming from above and is gonna hit here first, and then they're gonna cast a shadow right underneath the subject's eyes, which basically gives you that raccoon eyes. So having the subjects bring their chin up towards that light will help fill in those shadows under the subject's eyes and it will help eliminate um, that problem. And if you continue to do this, because uh, you're gonna have to repeat this over and over with your subjects because they're gonna forget and they're gonna drop their chin, but you always have to tell them, raise their chin up and slightly bring their face biased towards that light. So my final tip when it comes to using harsh light is basically pay attention to your background. So what you wanna make sure that you do here is making sure that you have a very balanced image because working with harsh light, what you will end up with is, is two extremes. You will have very, very contrasty light and basically you will have a lot of deep shadows. So if your background is, has no light on it and you're exposing for your subject, then what will end up happening is your background will gonna become very, very dark and you're not gonna have much details in there. So what you wanna try to do is basically find a, a location where the light that's hitting your subject is also the same light that's kinda hitting the background. So that gives you a more dynamic image as opposed to you know, using an image where the background is so dark that there's nothing back there and then your subject does basically get lost in that um, dark background. So look for uh, locations where you can actually use the same light on your subject and the background. All right, so that is it. So let's jump straight into this photo shoot. I wanna thank uh, three people that was involved in this photo shoot that basically helped it come together. Um, my wife, Nicole, basically helped procure the clothes for this photo shoot. Uh, without her, we probably wouldn't have uh, this photo shoot. So basically all the looks is thanks to her. I wanna thank the model for basically coming through. She did an amazing job. And I also wanna thank uh, the makeup artist on this photo shoot that basically helped to create uh, an amazing uh, makeup on the model. So thank you all. Let's jump into this photo shoot. I hope you guys enjoy it. Actually, I like that. Look, what you were doing just now, just bring your, uh, your right hand up a little bit, bend it, bend your elbow. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, is that bug? There's a bug. Step on the bug. No! <laughs> I'm 
I'm not that African. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mama. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now bend your, your right elbow. But you see right now it's pointed towards me. Pointed towards me. Yeah. And turn your face a little bit towards me. So we need to, if you're gonna pull it out that way, right? If you're gonna pull the dress out that way, bring the leg this way. That way. Perfect. If you could put, go on your tippy toes to add more shape to it, you gotta bring it out this way. And I'm, so. There we go. Wonderful, one more. This space you know, is kind of like making your bet, basically. And I'm going to kind of come this Turn your face a little bit this way. Bring this leg down just a little. No, 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 not that one. That's the one that's keeping you up. This one. Uh, drop this shoulder down a little bit, a little bit more if you can. Here we go. All right, hold that. Let me get my exposure. This is a, this is a test. One more. Keep right. All right, we're getting there. All right, here we go. One, two, three. I'm trying to add like some movements to the to the dress. So Okay. So I think maybe like if you hold on to, to, to that side and maybe like bring it with this leg. Like if you raise your leg up. But bend it. Like if you, it's like a movement, right? It's like. Uh. Right. And then this hand, this hand here, you gotta, when you're doing this, you're gonna let this hand go back. Right? Gonna, we're gonna work with that and make it more amazing. Hang on, let me just get my exposure. Okay, my exposure is locked in. All right, so imagine that song, whatever, I forget the name of it, but that's the one. All right, one, two, three.
All right, guys, so that is it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was helpful to you. I hope it inspired you. If it did, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Put some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Share this video with your friends and family. And guys, if you got this far in this video and you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.